the liquor on uh, re up. Nice, on that do say. Okay, yeah. And then you on that Julio? Oh, uh, yeah. That's why I That's roll, the right? devil right there. Mm hmm. Man, that's that bad line yeah. Casabigos though. Take yeah. that. That's a cute little. Yeah, just Louisiana right. nigga bring his own motherfucking yeah. uh, liquor through here, man. South Baton Rouge, real clear shit. Yeah. VR. Yeah, for oh, sure. Oh, we just had tech dude too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, from the VR. Yeah, that's my dog. I rock with the VR. I rock with Louisiana. Period. I love that. I love it with my accent down there. Man. Yeah, man, man. I be watching all kind of shit online, right? So yeah. I be watching these interviews and shit. Cause these are folks with media. Yeah. Be watching all kind of shit online, right? So I be watching these interviews and shit. Cause these are folks with media. Cause I. Create media. Now I'm seeing this nigga right here on that, giving some fire ass interviews, sound bites, clips, and shit. I hear him. I said, man, I gotta get you to come talk this shit on the 85 South show. Bro. Yeah, man. Sure, so, sure. very special guest in the house with us today, man. I want y'all to welcome Just Say in here, man. Yeah. 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 yeah so, another guest in here, man. I got none other than. Cleon, the comedian in here with us today, man. Yeah. Also, man, long time 85 South Show alumni, my boy, your partner, Mario Troy. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all already know the professor, man. Yes, sir. Leader of the class. Come on, man. Leader All of the new English school way. and the old school, man. Nothing other than the professor, Clayton English. Y'all know what it is, man. Leader of the English majors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got some clay, food. I got clay coat. Oh, I'm going to eat it later, man. Clay coat English. Thank you, though. You yeah, came boss, with it, man. though. Yeah, boss. You order food and send it away. Send it. Send it away. <laughs> send it away. Zay, what's been up, I man? I can't eat it right now. I've been cool, man. Getting to Man, how you get started with the, with the interviews and the internet and all this shit? How that shit jump off for you? Man, I did one interview with my dog from back home, and he asked me some questions that people been wanting to know the answers to, and yeah. I just I just answered them naturally with the truth, and you know people could vouch for that, you know that silence. So the first one took off, and then the comments, and you know. It shot up, so they're like, let's do another one. I, I did like three more platforms. I'm just talking about different stuff in my lifetime that I might have experienced with different people that people might have like uh, admiration for, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And they want to hear certain stories about when I was around them because I've been around, you name them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You feel me? So Let them know where you're from. I'm from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, South Baton Rouge. BR. Yeah. 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 The streets of BR. Yeah, that rat. Nothing was, like it. Nothing what was like it like coming up in there though, man? That's one of the wildest cities in America, man. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Been that way. Been that way. Like we known for it now, but like it been 30 years, 40 years back going on like this, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Trenches. Man. Yeah, trench living for real. Like we don't really have much opportunities, like. We, it's like one of the worst states to live in. One of my cities was like the the worst, like a violent, like just murder. You know, it's going down like every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, and I work for a um, Baton Rouge street team. Like we trying to prevent violence right now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how bad, that's that's how bad it is. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Let's but go. yeah, we getting out there. We trying to like, you know, be an influence instead of, you know, a negative influence, a positive influence, you feel me? Or just a voice, because some people be talking that and don't do shit. You yeah, know? yeah, and, you know, so that's good. I mean, I, I, I fuck my community up, you know what I'm saying? I used to be thugging for real, so if they could see me out there, like, trying to, like, reach back. Show, yeah, you feel yeah. me? Like, I'm, I might could reach one, you feel me? Yeah. And you yeah. shit, I did my part, you feel me? The youth yeah. definitely, the, the youth need it, yo. Yeah, yeah. Them kids need it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm in the schools, I do safe passes, like, you know, at high schools, like, I'm just in there making sure they ain't fighting, because they fighting, they fighting like grown men in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm talking about splitting eyes and everything. Uh -huh. And this would be the girls, too. The girls getting it on, so, yeah. like. Wow. Yeah, like, my city, like, it got a lot of culture, culture in it though. Like you know the the music ain't nothing like it. You know what I'm saying? Like the rhythm. If you go to the club, like ain't no you know like 
in, uh, around the world, the sections, you know, bottles, you know what I'm saying? But you go to the club down there, they dancing, they jigging, it's to the wall, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's really like, like that. Oh, you gonna have fun. Or you gonna be scared. Yeah. One or two. <laughs> you, gonna be, you gonna be having fun or you gonna be scared. Right. They party in Louisiana. One thing about Louisiana, it's always gonna be a day party, a brunch party, a uh, uh, a party, a something party. Got the marching bands down there. Oh yeah, they suddenly. The street, yeah, yeah, we got, we got the best marching band, the yeah. jukebox. It's yeah. you, yeah. We are gonna yeah. tear it up so every sad. time. That's and they it. and they blowing real music like your that favorite song. Yeah. That bitch gonna sound like it coming out the radio. Yeah, yeah. All uh, kind of instruments. Yeah. Y'all the motherfucking fam, you ain't, ain't no slouch now. No, fam, you do yeah. that shit. Nah, you yeah, know yeah. I just had to pop yeah, up shit for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> slide that in there. But you know, we had been running it way before fam, you even made it. Oh, no, that was the first, that was the first shit I seen. Yeah. I came out there with my cousin. Yeah. That shit. Yeah. It went to, it went but, to but fam, you made their way. Like, I ain't gonna lie, yeah. they came, they came through and they was doing that dance and shit, and they was. They was playing the ratchet songs, like, cause Southern, um, when Dr. Graves was the, uh, yeah, Dr. Graves wasn't with that shit. Dr. Right. Graves wanted to play uh, Marvin Gaye, and he, he was trying to blow your yeah. ass down. But they was coming down entertaining, so shit, fam, you made a name for themselves. I remember that shit. Them niggas playing. Ain't nothing like that HBCU football game when Come you on, coming man. up, nigga. That Come shit on, was tall. Florida from Louisiana, What? You say you was working with a street team, man. Who else you got like with you? You got other artists that's working with you in the streets to stop yeah, the violence. Yeah, and... yeah, I got um my dog Go Yellow that's with me right now. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He a popping local artist and he on the street team. And, yeah. That's what's up. What's know, up, brother? I mean, we getting out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, and hopefully we can influence other rappers that trying to change their life or, you know, understand that if they got a career like shit, nigga, you flashing out, you crashing out, you. You finna lose everything. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, <clears throat> a nigga gotta understand, like, the music is to entertain. Like, we watch movies to be entertained. We watch power to be entertained. Like, you ain't oh. supposed to, you don't take none of that shit, see? I hope not. A nigga play Ghost still here. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn. What's, What's the biggest? Though, bro? Go ahead. Man, I, uh, I do music. I got a lot of music out. I've been doing music for. 15 years, uh, this past two, three years, I've been dropping mixtape after mixtape. I wasn't really dropping before because I was in the streets for real, going back and forth to jail and shit, unfortunately. But, uh, man, I got a new single with Kevin Gates. I'm about to try to get cleared and drop that, you feel right, me? Chill. Yeah, yeah, that's all, you know, yeah. you know. Fuck with Gates, man. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. We, we went to high school together, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's man, man. It's, it's a lot together. of motherfuckers out of that room. You know what I'm saying? Man. Yeah. yeah. Shit, Webby Boozy, man, I used to rock their ass, man, back in the day. When I, man, what? Shit, that might be the best duo, duo to ever do. Man, let me tell yeah, you something. Thanks. Hell of a tag, too. Let me tell you something. Man, them niggas drop some songs, but. <coughs> I'm one of my favorite Boosie Webby line, classic line. So you come out, I fuck a bitch till she real tired. You and know that. What? <laughs> and I ain't fucking with her unless she real fine. You know, that nigga man. crazy. Damn. That shit was That nigga Webby is crazy. Yeah. Man, that nigga crazy, but that shit was classic. That like, nigga fine. crazy, man. I just start that shit over just to hit that part. Yeah. What he said? Yeah. Ooh, I fuck a bitch till she real tired. Man, Webby came on this motherfucker pole, walk, pulled about six bars of water on itself. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I don't know what the fuck you got yeah. going on, Webby. The nigga had on a mink coat like Pimp C. Come on, man. Yeah. man. Long yeah, ass mink coat, no yeah. shirt. Yeah. Man, yeah. Yeah. man that what this nigga is savage. Like, yeah. savage. Yeah. yeah. The dumb way. Savage like nigga. Yeah. Enjoying this stuff. Oh, he from, he from Baton Rouge, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ain't know that. Mm -hmm. Back to the bubbles. Yeah, Back I, to I, the I, bubbles. I, I, like, everybody yeah. in Baton Rouge got their own style, but y'all got, like, a sound about it's like the way y'all ride the beat or something yeah. like like New Orleans got bounced y'all ain't about what what it's jig jig okay the, yeah. yeah okay it's a jig era yeah. but the jig era it took like a um like a step to it that's when like YB them came with it and they they sped up the street music you know okay. what I'm saying and. It's, it's still going crazy, it's still wild energy, but right. it's about that, you know, it's basically drill, but it's in a jig way, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can still dance to it, you feel me? Right. Yeah. But there's a lot of talented artists coming out of BR oh, man, right so, now. So mm -hmm. many, so yeah. many, bro. Like, we really influence the world and don't get the credit for it. 
on some shit. Y'all yeah, got different sound. Yeah. That sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying. Webby is 21 Savage's favorite artist. Savage, yeah. Savage, like. Damn. I got that nigga. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, I could keep kicking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got that influence. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah, for real. Hell yeah. Man, yeah. what? And that's some real shit. Because yeah. Savage is the first person I heard saying the shit I'm like that saying, with, with Webby. Pressure. Pressure come from my city. Yeah, you know, you hear a nigga talking about pressure. Yeah, we started it. Who started twerking? I don't know where Tori can come from. That's in the wall. I think that might be from the wall. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it was always. I I the name. It's yeah. always yeah. existed. Well, it's always been a Louisiana thing. I remember when twerking ain't had shit to do with dancing. It was just booty shaking. It wasn't even but, dance. But motherfuckers in Florida, it was that just was... like niggas, just, niggas in the streets just shake always say, I'm trying I'm to twerk, twerk something. Yeah. It was before it was even yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 They, they weren't yeah. dancing. Yeah, they're like, nigga, shit, I'm just, shit, something I'm going to twerk. I'm going to make something shake. Yeah. Yeah. It really was about fucking, really. I think every age bracket got that different. Dynamic but you know what I word. think? What what mm. kind of this might might have been what changed it though? You remember when um, Master P dropped "I'm About It," mm-hmm. and then he had the girls on there dancing. You like you see that dance she, and he was like, "Shit, she twerking." Oh yeah. When she was pussy popping, mm-hmm. he was like, "Yeah." Oh, somebody actually said twerking. Yeah. Master P oh, actually oh, said, because oh, oh, he had the, the No Limit girls at the end of the joint, and they had like an uncut Ice cream party. Yeah, he was like, yeah. shit. Oh, damn, she I ain't twerking know that. Oh, you got to yeah. go watch the Ice Cream Party. That was yeah. Like, yeah. legendary. Oh, yeah, 13, 14. Yeah, yeah. 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 legendary. Yeah. Shit. Master yeah. P made his own. He Little made freaky own bitches. So you never seen How About It? I saw About It, but I didn't watch it all the way to the end. You got to watch it all the way to the end. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a Marvel film. <laughs> right. Hey, and we yeah, were fast forward in that bitch, bro. Back then, we was like, this shit was at the ice cream But the movie? The movie, at, after the movie. After the credit. Yeah, right. after, after, after the credit. How long was the mo- second movie? Uh, about damn near an hour. Yeah. yeah. Two movies? Yeah, that was put- a little freaky part. So it reminded me of Luke's peep show. Luke used to have a show where it was like the little freaky videos and he would talk the shit and had the bitches twerking the shit, but it was just Master P and bitch. Yeah. I can't believe you never seen the extended version. Well, I'm I'm about it. Why did we not why did we know not to turn it off though? <laughs> right. And this is no, you know why? You know why? That Nobody motherfucking soundtrack. That. Oh yeah, you listening to the music. The soundtrack kept yeah. us on there, but bro. But that's what I'm saying. They showed all this this uh, like bonus footage, threw a couple videos in there. Yeah, Master P and, always and, looked out for niggas. Yeah, yeah for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he did. He gave you two movies. He had the studio in BR, didn't he? Yeah. Who was that, that nigga? That, that, that nigga had, had every no limit yeah, artist yeah, like living in Baton Rouge in the country club. Damn. What? Yeah, we used to hoop with them niggas. Like them niggas was in Baton Rouge, like just running through that bitch for a while. Mr. could beat niggas up in Waffle House. <laughs> yeah, like that shit happened for That's real. That's where that shit happened? Yeah. College, on College Drive. Damn. Whoop the nigga in Waffle House. Damn, by what? Because nigga was saying, fuck no limit. Oh, yeah, that's it. He ended up paying for his food. He turned around and whooped him. You got to wash your mouth. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, why would the fuck would you say that anyway? See, they be dumb. Niggas get their ass whooped. They were drinking that shit. moonshine. <laughs> yeah. Niggas do alcohol. Goddamn yeah. swamp water. It got yeah. real goofy on that motherfucker. Hold on, you said some shit though. You said uh, Baton Rouge influenced some shit. So I was like, what's some more shit? Because you just hit me with two that I'm like, that's accurate. Three, really? Mm-hmm. You got anything see. else? Let me see. Mm, you put me on the spot. Let okay. me on think about it. Cause you just gave me three off rip, yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 man, yeah. who gonna put the documentary together, man? I know, bro. Bro, it's so many street legends, and it's like you see the little clips they be make. You ever watch them just to be like, they kind of right, but they mostly wrong. Right, right. Somebody gotta put that movie together. Somebody man. gotta drop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who are some of the ones that don't get mentioned enough to you? Talking about rappers or street niggas? Just street, street niggas. From BR? Yeah. 
Because they making these little series of documentaries about all this shit that done happened in different cities. And they do a good- Southfield, Michigan, the Detroit area. Look here, I'm coming back. I'm gonna be at the Punchline Comedy Lounge. Five shows. Yes, I will be doing my 600 pound life live. I'm doing them all five shows because this is the last time I will be touring doing my 600 pound life during my comedy show. So go on ahead and get them tickets. They won't last long. I, they never last long. I sell out every time I come to Detroit. So look here, don't miss out because I will not be doing my 600 pound life again live on nobody. So go ahead and get them tickets. They don't sell now. Go to 85southshow.com or to the Punchline website. Did you know that even if you have a 401k for your retirement, you can still have an IRA? Robinhood has the only IRA that gives you a 3% boost on every dollar you contribute when you subscribe to Robinhood Gold. But get this, now through April 30th, Robinhood is even boosting every single dollar you transfer in from other retirement accounts with a 3% match. That's right, no cap on the 3% match, okay? Robinhood Gold gets you the most for your retirement thanks to their IRA, with a 3% match. This offer is good through April 30th. Get cc at robinhood.com slash boost. Subscription fees apply. And now for some legal info. Claim as of Q1 2024 validated by Radius Global Market Research. Investing involves risk including loss. Limitations apply to IRAs and 401ks. 3% match requires Robinhood Gold for one year from the date of the first 3% match. Must keep Robinhood IRA for five years. The 3% matching on transfer is subject to specific terms and conditions. Robinhood IRA available to U.S. customers in good standing. Robinhood Financial LLC member SIPC is a registered broker dealer. Good job of at least making this shit entertaining enough for people to watch. Like y'all big dog down that one. Um, Tulu, out Park Town. He just come home. He did about 30. Damn. Yeah. Um, him and Rico Howard, they ran together. They like they they official. Uh, Craig Gaines, you know, okay. riding the Vincent. Uh, Hmm. I gotta give they, Turk and Mel they flowers, Trill Entertainment. Mm. Yeah, like they, they was the ones who got out. You know what I'm saying? Like they are Birdman and Slim, you feel mm -hmm. me? Yeah, like. Mm -hmm. I what feel, was it like watching them put that together and how that came came up? Man, that was, that was, that was my motivation to even like, even try to even fuck with it, cause like I say, we don't have much opportunity. Trill Entertainment at the time was like the only real record label, you know what I'm saying? So if you wasn't over there with c you ain't really had nothing going on, you feel me? So watching them groom Boosie and Webber and then groom their sons with Fat and Lil Trill and just build a dynasty they built. And I was 17, 18 around the time. I used to be in the rooms with them. We used to record in Motel 6s, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know, it's like, uh, give me that pussy with Bun B. That was recorded in Motel 6 on Seagull Lane. On a, tw on a 2480. What? Okay. You know what a 2480 is? Now, what's that? That's a 24 track recorder. It's a little machine. It looked like a beat machine, but it's, it records 24 tracks. Mm -hmm. you, know like that, you know what that means? You only got 24 takes, nigga. Oh, that's it. So if it's three people on the song, they gotta split them 24 takes to make that song right. This ain't Pro Tools, this ain't no computer that you could do however many takes you want on that bitch. That shit damn near live. So you had to get that bitch right. Yeah. Um, every, all that shit was done on that. Baby. And it made sense. Yeah. Where else you think about bitch giving you some pussy? Damn a motel shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know that shit was cheap back then too. That's crazy. That yeah, that shit was $49 a night. That's Maybe what I'm $39 saying. some night. And you made it. Man, work. that saved so much money on studio time. Yeah. One take on one track in the Motel 6. So you couldn't punch in. You, got you had to rap that shit. You had to do your whole verse. Right. Yeah. You had to do your whole verse. Then okay. when you come back and dub it, you got to do your whole verse. That shit remind me of that, you know, that, that main with, uh, What's the uh, Temptations? <coughs> like, not right now, not right now. What's with the, with the drunk nigga name? Eddie Kane? Eddie okay. Kane. Mm-hmm. The fire heartbeat. The fire heartbeat. The fire heartbeat. That, that man to go like, not right now, not right now. Like, let me know when. You know what I'm talking about? You can't fuck up. Can't you fuck can't, up, man. Can't fuck up. Damn. Ain't no rewind. Mm -hmm. Ain't no punching in. That means we got to start all over again. You been fucked up. fucking vocals. 
That means when when I push record with these two fingers, you playing, need to be ready to spit the whole uh, thing. Are you ready? Because once I hit this shit, we ain't stopping this motherfucker. Don't clear it through. Go ahead, get your water and your little liquor and your cigarettes and shit and come you got on. Got no spit to spit this motherfucker. This it. This the tape. You ready? All right, I got it. 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 Hold on, hold on. Let me hit the liquor one more time. Y'all think punching in while they got one? Go ahead. It's up. It's up. Young ready. Mm. It's up there. That come from Baton Rouge. Okay. Mm. How many people? Carter B got this up. It's, yeah, they it's got up then. Yeah, and up, they got yeah. a girl, Cali Kilo, back home. Say Carter B stole her song, and that bitch do sound like that. Okay. Yeah, Baton Rouge. It's up. Damn. They started that too. Mmm. <clears throat> I just had to think a little bit. Well, they yeah. say they say a lot of a lot of great artists still. Do you think that's? I mean, it ain't really still. It's you know. They said good artists copy great yeah. artists still. Guess who got the biggest platform? They gonna hear it first. Yeah. How many comedians say that shit gonna sound good on the road? But it don't cost nothing to pay how many. <coughs> nothing. Shit, it don't don't shine a light <coughs> or, you know what I'm saying? Give a motherfucker that. But anybody can give a motherfucker. Though. Oh, yeah, but it's the business. You never, it's nigga, shady. The producer nigga could have sold that motherfucker. Some shit just came yeah. out about Biggie saying that it was a nigga in New York. Biggie a nigga stole in the Mississippi. Song from. Oh, with niggas in Mississippi, Dad. Hey, say so he took it from a nigga took from Mississippi. From a nigga. Biggie, biggest song. Who knows? Who knows? Man, what, I'm the pretty nigga sure Elvis from, stole no, got They got the nigga from St. Louis say he wrote country grammar for Nelly. Oh, he I leave. He say he sacrificed his son. Oh, I leave. Oh, <laughs> I know who you talking about. <laughs> I'm going down. Hey, that man way. left. He got a... <laughs> that, that nigga the only one. He said, y'all trying to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? He I might, forgot his wait, name. Wait, wait, but I kind of believe he wrote that's, the song. You know what, that's all? <laughs> mm. Hey, man. Hey, that's how life works. Hey. People wouldn't believe him. That nigga probably really wrote that man, motherfucking song. Hey. Shit, no. You yeah. yeah. say shit, no. <laughs> that nigga ain't wrote shit. That nigga shit. said the candle on fire. Uh, it was. Jimmy, Jimmy, come on up. That song? <laughs> yeah. Stop it. He said he wrote that. That nigga ain't wrote shit. <laughs> Nelly's a genius. Why he ain't write E.I. then? He ain't, why he ain't write none of the other shit? Why he ain't write E.I. Hey, hot, hot, you hot. know at the beginning of the song? Where was like, this nigga by the time Nelly me. wrote, <laughs> drop <laughs> down and get your eagle on? <laughs> <laughs> nigga can't write for Nelly. It's getting <laughs> hot in here, nigga. Oh, you got to say her. Her. Man, her. Women down there in B.I., man. Oh, yeah. Fan is a motherfucker. Gun smoke. Oh, all Big five kids. kids. Thick no stretch oh, mark. Yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. Five yeah. kids, yes. no stretch mark. No stretch mark. Nice kid. I done had it Thick. Too. Terrible. <laughs> I'm glad you know it. <laughs> terrible. They treat you like yeah. shit. Yeah. Right. They beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. All Louisiana women be fine as hell, but they treat you like shit because they, they feisty. rough. Yeah, they and rough as hell. They, they yeah. These women, man, they, they like they to go outside and hunt and shoot. And shoot they be they go outside. outside. Yeah. They be drinking early, man. Fuck kind of bitches y'all fucking with. No, I'm saying yeah. this is Louisiana. If you ain't ready yeah. to party, don't go to Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana is like a deep southern Miami. You ain't gonna keep being like, nah, and it's I'm up good. all night. I ain't so drinking. They know nah, I ain't, and I ain't. girls could fight. It's up yeah. all night, brother. If you a little nigga and you got a girl, yo, he, she gonna she, get with you. Yeah, she gonna beat you up all <laughs> night. <laughs> Liquor stores don't close in Louisiana. Yeah, I got a cousin. She whoop all her boyfriends. <laughs> we all got a cousin like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, in the south, yeah. my name's yeah. Steph. What's your cousin? Rashawn. Rashawn. What yeah. about you? Shit, I, all of them, really. <laughs> For real. You gotta worry yeah. about none of them shit. I don't know. I don't know That's the cousin you call when you wanna fuck somebody up. Yeah, yeah. Shit, I call my auntie if I need somebody to I fuck up. I fell out with her one time because she ain't wanna whip my baby mama. Damn. I'm Damn, just like, I, I ain't getting in there. I ain't time like, to call nobody. I'm gonna get my dog. <laughs> she know you was going back. I, I didn't go back, though. Oh, I, right. I wanted that to happen. <laughs> <laughs> That domestic a motherfucker, man. Uh, Hell yeah. How your ass fucked up? Yeah, fa see, my family don't let me talk about shit like that. Yeah. If I would have said my cousin's name, she'd be like, don't be talking about me in your little fucking show. Everybody know my business. Like, and now everybody in my cousin. fucking face. Like, we we good. Everybody would DM her the clip. Like, see, exactly. See? Right. Your cousin got 600 followers, and everybody know her. <laughs> and her page private like a motherfucker. Right. right. All my business on the street. <laughs> Don't nobody know right. you, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> Making a big scene. See, I told you. You showing your ass in here. Sit down.
They be doing the most, bro. My page private because of my job. No, it ain't. That's because you be on here calling people baby ugly and shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, that ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> That's your mean ass. Man, social media is a motherfucking fool, bro. Come on, bro, you got to take a shot with me. Man, social media, man. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Let me let me get. Yeah, Zay, you let celebrate, man. It took us yeah. a while to get you can to I come up here to the trap and talk some shit with us. Let me yeah. refill this. You got no cups? Yeah. <laughs> Look at this thing. He, he just hold it down to do say. Man, hold it down. Do say, man. Stop it right there, hey, brother. Hey, well, you should have been hey, stopped there. Hey, no, just wait. Oh, that's all Look, a little bit. Yeah. Remember the one of them little. Yeah. Let me take a little swig of this. Sweet. See, grill with Boosie, too. He done stopped through here a few times. You see, we got the Boosie like cologne. Boosie. You smelled it. No, I ain't no. Man, you gotta smell the boozy cologne, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Is that? Appreciate you, bro. I'll be all right. Do you wear it? I like it. The three? No, that shit. You wanna smell that? Yeah. That's smell that boozy. That shit chills, yeah. Yeah, he got another one, too. He got. That yeah, I, I like a sweet smell of cologne. I don't like the heavy man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. smell like oh, a doctor. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't like that. Like a dentist. Oh, white man, white man. man. Yeah, 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 I don't like that. Bob. You know who I, you gonna tell you who else I like from VR? <laughs> yeah, <team> clean. <laughs> Motherfucking poke it, bear. I love that. that right there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's my nigga. Oh, on the blue shit. Man, yeah. what? Yeah. That nigga poke it, I seen that nigga live in concert, brother. That that nigga got it. They call me poke. Yeah, that poke, man. That nigga be killing that shit. I said, hell yeah, bruh. I love me a cool ass nigga that got down See, that shit smell good, man. Boosie got one with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, I love it. Nah, Boosie definitely got one with that. Yeah. What is it called? Fire. Dangerous. Is it Dangerous Fires? Yeah, man. To fix his names. This is what we doing. We over here marketing and promoting, man. Boosie. Had to make sure that you at least gave it a a whiff, man. So if you found. want your product, you want people to sample your products, Put that send them up here. As long as well, I get you an honest review right here on the show, I'm only going to charge you rent on my shelf. And since inflation is high, so the shelf. DM me, I'm going to run your credit. Then I'll let you know what space you got approved for. <laughs> right. And then I'm going to look at your debt to income ratio and see about how much rent you can afford. Now this will it'll be a soft pull on your credit report. Not a, it's not a hard it'll be a soft pull. But I'm just letting you know we do have space for rent. Yeah. Top you. shelf is gonna cost top shelf price. <laughs> so but the exactly bottom right. shelf ain't cheap either. That's right. right. It's going it's go, it may cost you a little. But you can it earn may a lot. It cost you a lot. There's no bottom shelf. But it's gonna cost you. Exactly. It's only a lower shelf. You got to pay. Oh, it's gonna cost you. Zay, what's the new joints you got that you promoting with Gates? Oh, uh, it's a single car. I want it. Oh. It's like a bounce record, but it still got like a um, radio sound to it. It ain't just like New Orleans bounce, but it got a bounce to it. You feel me? And it you ain't a what? bounce record, but it sound like... And you know what? Rocking with Gates, we talked about Boosie, we talked about Webby. All them niggas is some... Freaky ass Baton Rouge niggas. Is well, this song freaky. This song freaky. This song freaky as a motherfucker. I, I don't even know how I'm a radio hit this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Kevin Gates out here spitting showing his ass. ass. That's what I'm saying. But yeah, it's definitely Spit, some uh, spitting. Spit it's yeah, some Baton Rouge yeah, spitting. It's, 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 it's a lyric on there like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. this nigga yeah. showing out. That's what Damn. I'm talking about. Represent your represent your spit. This freak game done just took it to a whole nother level these days. My girl back there, mouth spitting. I know. It was like a lot of shit. I just don't return a favor. You ain't none. That shit dead. You they spit like in your mouth? Shit. Nah, I, I stopped right there. You spit in your mouth? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you just do the spit? I spit. spit. Yeah. Like, I don't get spit on. He's a spitter. Wow. I'm a spitter, yeah. yeah. I like if you allow what if you spit in her mouth and then she spit it back in your mouth? No, and then y'all just no, get no. stuck spitting. I'm spit. on top. <laughs> I mean, she got to shoot that shit out. Damn. That uh, shit is a free. You, if you allow me to spit in your man, mouth, can you imagine what else is going to come back right in her face? This shit is. Yeah. Hey man, you can't. I don't. I don't allow uh, kink shaming and freak shaming on my show. Right. All freaks ha- Dude, have their freak. right. It to might not be for you, but shit. somebody might. Hey. Somebody might like you. Right. All freak got. They got a right to their own freaking shit, <laughs> and and they should be allowed to be freaks. Long as they find somebody who willing to participate yeah, so be, be in wheel. the type of freaking shit that they have going on. 
That's they shit. Now. Right. Because I definitely don't want them looking at the shit that I'm doing and be judging me. Like, what is that? Like, what? Like why you need both of your balls in her mouth? <laughs> hey, I didn't judge you right. when yeah, you was doing just your don't shit. Don't judge me. Right. Right. right, don't judge me. Man. Don't worry about the shit I, I do. You my Sometimes I like to fuck Man. with a cape on. Right. I like to feel superhuman in the pussy sometimes. Yeah, yeah I'm extra. Yeah, I, yeah, I got some I got some superhero boots that I wear sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> what I want to have. But like whose who's fucking business is that? So what? Sometimes I role play. Bitch, Any, are you gonna put the cowboy hat on or not? Anytime I order, do what pizza, I'm asking. I deliver it and act like can't nobody, like my lady can't have I'm none if we can't fuck. Like you, I do that. <laughs> I'm like an <laughs> '80s porno sometimes. Yeah. Hey, put the hat on. Throw what, back. What I just show you, up with a pizza and be like, hey, hey somebody please. ordered a what pizza. If you, what if you role play? She tell you she wants you to act like your homeboy. What? <laughs> she want him to act like this homeboy? <laughs> you oh, yeah, you need to leave that bitch. <laughs> First of all, I'm not playing no more. <laughs> <laughs> and pull the nigga hat on. Put this homeboy. hat on. Put the hat like, act like your homeboy. It's <laughs> like, like, hope Nah, class. fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> uh-uh. Hell no. Hell no. Nah. Hell nah. 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 Nigga say you ain't playing no more. Yeah. Nah. Hell no. Because the, the shit I'ma say, the shit <laughs> I'ma I'm say back, bitch, we done. it's gonna be, no it's game. gonna be disturbing. Oh, like now I'm on your way. <laughs> but talk about right, your auntie. Bitch. <laughs> 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 the one that fuck up for years. You gotta flip it sometimes. Nah, like, your grandma, son. Act like your aunt. Act like your aunt. Act like you got the one that fuck up for years. Okay. Act like your aunt. I'm a homeboy. Act like you got your ass like your cousin. Been over there other to make a sweep and take it back. Yeah. What aunt? The favorite aunt. The thick aunt. Yeah. You know what aunt I'm talking about. Hand. Okay, but act like your cousin. <laughs> what you want me to do? Well, do like she did and give me your whole income tax. <laughs> Did she give a nigga her whole income tax and her, her monthly yeah, check? Right. Act dumb. Be stupid as her. And she don't she never wear a bra. What the? Right. Damn. That's some funny shit. Your aunts don't. You think aunts don't never wear a bra? That's funny. <laughs> that be the shit you be like, man, why did you bring me the fuck over here to see this shit? Yeah, them bitches be to us, stunned. Murder. They don't never have a bra on. You take a 500,000 or a beat with Jay-Z? 500,000? Fuck Jay-Z. <laughs> fuck <laughs> my old <laughs> Fuck, we finna eat. <laughs> it's gonna be that good, nigga. Me. That nigga, that shit. nigga ain't putting no nigga on, man. Hey, he put on I'm taking me the money. The money. And then I'm gonna see that nigga at the restaurant. I'm taking the money. Yeah, I want the money. Yeah. What up, nigga? Oh, I took your table? I'm in this game to make income. Give me the 500. And I'm playing Nas Ethan when I walk out. (laughs) (laughs) Fuck Jay Z. That's cold. Why you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck you, nigga. Why you gonna do that shit? Who came up with that dumb ass hypothetical question, though? You gotta take that money. It ain't nobody that I'm taking the meeting with. That's fine. I'm smart uh, enough to make a motherfucker give me a deal like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking savvy when it comes down to making money now. Yeah, because you don't even have to do nothing for the money. I don't have to do shit. You just gonna give me the money? And take it me. Nigga, I could just take the money and and book (laughs) Jay-Z. And make and double it. (laughs) Or at least... If, If it was that urgent to talk to him, I'm sure it's somebody that I can fucking pay to talk to this nigga. He got a cousin that can set this. Sh- nigga, I can run into Memphis Bleak. Yeah. And be like, Memphis Or Bleak. Solange. The ne- Look, I got you 50. Just, br- just tell the nigga we going to eat. Y'all was going to eat anyway. He eat what you want, so yeah. Y'all stay That might not get him, though. What? Somebody got, you got to talk to some. You think it'll get him? I mean, you'll get at least I mean, a couple minutes. I still have, all I'm saying is, I could take the 500,000 and finesse my way into a meeting with whoever the fuck I want to. Yeah, absolutely. That's the type of nigga I am. Yeah. And Obama ain't gonna get you in low. You gonna have a time in a low. And if you can't flip 500,000 into some more, like, yeah. I know I am. Cause I extra 500. I know how to keep money. Shit. $500,000, man, go a long way. I can meet a lot of people. Come on, man. You gotta use it first. 
Yeah, well, because Obama ain't working right now, so 100000 get him. And which kind want to beach chilling? Easily. And then sometimes you just got to get Who wanna be a man, nigga that be another chilling. nigga want to meet. Uh, Biden. Biden. Biden, Biden ain't doing shit either. Trump needs some money. <clears throat> no, he don't. They want you to think that. The kind of broke he is don't apply to a lot of people. <laughs> right, that nigga just lost a couple of, he caught, uh, what, about, about 20, 30 million? He's straight, that's, he's that's nothing. Straight. That ain't, that's probably He ain't never had it. Man, that ain't. He been working on credit. He been finessing this whole time, dog. He been using other people's money this whole motherfucking time, dog. That nigga been swiping the whole time, dude. Man, he don't own most of them buildings and shit. He leases his name out. He put his name on it. You got to pay him. Whatever he doing, that shit working. That shit is dope as fuck. We got to figure this shit out. That shit is dope as fuck. We going to have to start us some bullshit corporations. Right. And do and play the game. They show us exactly how this American shit works. Oh, Ours gotta be a little more cleaner right. though. Saying get an LLC or walk into the bank, come out with a hundred thousand. No, you can't. That shit sound so easy. They make that shit sound so easy. Yeah. Fuck out of here. You know what? You know what the LLC stands for? It is easy though, but, but it ain't. Work. It's a few L more. Oh fuck no! First of all, your credit gotta be up, do that straight and everything. It's a few. And then you trying to get a cash advance, and they gonna slap your ass. That's a shame. But it is. That's just LLC stands for look, look, color, boy. Damn. I like that. Ah, that nigga said, look, look, colored, boy. You stupid. You understand? I caught that shit late. <laughs> they do you like this. <laughs> look, look, colored, boy. You gotta move that bitch up, though. Once you start making more, you gotta go to the escort. Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's the They'll fuck with you on the LLC that, if you make it more than what. that shit to a, a, a yeah. See? Yeah. Told you how niggas get on podcasts, they just, there's certain shit they gonna talk about. They gonna yeah. talk about their LLC. <laughs> and then they gonna and have it's a subscribe trend. to my page at the end. Yeah. Make you pay for the, the But niggas the is default. telling you shit like it's, it's some you, you magic way. Park. No, yeah, nigga. That, that, that shit ain't what the fuck you making this. And, and if you do it. Cause I tried. That shit, I ain't been out here for years. That shit ain't work. It start right. a dummy, corp, a yeah, dummy dude. foundation. No, it don't need to be a dummy. It need to be real. No. White folks been doing that for years. A foundation. They go to jail when they find out that your corporation fake. Right. Like, like don't fucking. A lot of times like they get do money that. They already gonna put that money that they get caught for in something else. That's like yeah, that. That's because motherfuckers is greedy. Like, why would you name your shit? Like, say for instance, you doing some Red Cross shit. Why wouldn't you at least buy some band aids, nigga? You gonna have no kind of evidence exactly. that you yeah. at least fucking try? Some needles. Goddamn. How much time you get for something like this? It depends on how much you on get. How white your family is. And how right, you we go get more. That's what I'm saying. Then they would, and we gonna get found out earlier. They get a chance to run the shit up. We didn't find out till 30 years that it was a fraud. Nigga, do them like this. Niggas get caught in the first six months. Oh yeah, they done sent everybody to jail for the people. You don't even get to scam. go nowhere, bro. And they make the video on social media get it. That's that PPP yeah. loan shit. Niggas could have, man, you could have made up whatever the fuck your business was. You could have. Made up some goddamn invoices for shit you sold. They took did. That money that's how and they all went to fucking jail. No, I don't no, think they actually. did the follow up. I don't think they did none of that shit. Because if you would have did it, you at least Nigga had just something got to show. Approved and didn't do nothing. Yeah. Didn't do none of the due diligence. No. They just got approved for 19,000 employees. It's the Bought a fucking charger <laughs> with it. <laughs> Man, I don't even have that car no more. <laughs> A lot of people skated. This the motherfuckers that hit for a million and went bought houses in Ferrari. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's when with the jail. Yeah. Shit, you got you hit that ass for 20k, they ain't worried about your ass. Shit, they gonna come and ask about it though. They gonna hear later. Hey, um, 2021. You might sit down for a minute. I think they had just they enough really, to get. They, they knew what they was giving people. They knew like they it's like you know how the store, like you ain't okay, we got it. If it ain't over this amount, we ain't gonna do shit with it. That's right. the government got no money. They was like, all right, man, if everybody look, as long as you don't hit. Seven, six nine, figures. Seven, as long as you ain't hitting six figures yeah, consecutively, we gonna let you rock. Yeah. You think they fuck with the unemployment? Huh? No. Nah. No, I so think so that's so why the interest rate's so high right now, though. See, they, they don't want. Big. They don't want to like they they checking to see if these people legally got this money. So if you legally got it, like you said, they ain't really pressing for you to pay it back because they want the shit to gain interest and run yeah, it up. Yeah. So the motherfuckers who did get twenty gonna end up paying a hundred back. And they gonna pay the shit back. The people oh. who. Yeah, because you know they're gonna Because they gonna make you pay this shit for so long, by the time you pay it back, it's gonna be a hundred. Oh, fucking dying with a debt. 
Because you can't pay shit back. Guess what? Somebody's still going to pay this shit. Yeah. They're going to die with it, too. They did it, never. They're going to leave your kid to that. I ain't gonna so they look at the shit. You got us talking about the economy and shit. Right? Yeah, we ain't talking about foreign exchange. Let me ask you a question. What's the, what's the craziest food be all sell that don't sell nowhere else? They got good food in Baton Rouge. Yeah, that's, that's the best place you're gonna eat. Baton Rouge or New Orleans. Um, the I craziest saw, I, food. I think I saw an alligator on the menu one time. Yeah, we ain't eating no alligator. In New Orleans. Shit, I do. I do too. I, I, I had eat the that shit out of some alligator. alligator. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Just, alligator is fucking delicious. And I saw octopus, and I saw octopus on yeah, the menu. Yeah, like octopus. Oh, no, it don't. It shit, tastes like turtle. It tastes like fish and chicken that, together. It's not okay. good. Yeah, that shit good, though. <laughs> I fucks with some alligator. Man, okay, but see, like, we from the south. See, you from... You from I the region land. of the bay. I like, you, you, you know, see for what we shit. got that nobody else got, probably be boudin. Boudin? Yeah. yeah. What's that? So it's like, you can get a boudin link. Yeah, and it's gonna it's be like, like sausage. it's gonna be like you Crawfish. can get a seafood one or you can get like yeah. a rice dressing with it, and the rice it's like rice dressing, piled in like a um the skin like of like a sausage, mm. like, you know like this like the skin on top of the sausage, right. but it's some it's different crazy. kind of skin, mm. yeah. and then you just you can eat the skin too, but most people just suck the rice out of it or suck the seafood out of it, you know what I'm saying? And then they make um, boudin balls and it's just stuffed with the same thing, but it's fried, you know what I'm saying? I gotta try that. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, shit, that shit man. bomb, nigga, that shit hard. Louisiana is yeah. great for yeah. the kind of food. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking it up. Every time yeah, I go down there, I'm getting yeah, I eat, I don't like, like a crawfish good. biscuit. You know what I'm saying? You, you know what a crawfish biscuit? Nah. That's like a crawfish head filled with like some etouffee or uh, or a different kind of sauce you might want to put in the head of a crawfish. So y'all eat y'all eat shrimp with the head on it down there? No, nah, we're gonna take the head oh, off for sure. But the crawfish different. Oh, yeah, the crawfish is amazing. Shit is amazing. Yeah. All that shit. Yeah, man. And turkey necks, all that shit. Yeah. Hot sauce, oh, yeah, all, you all know that about shit. It. Oh fuck. Because mm -hmm. okay. you from Tennessee. That's close. I'm from Tennessee, but my, my wife's family from New Orleans. So then You ever had a turkey wing or a turkey neck? I had a turkey leg. You never had a turkey no, neck. I ain't no, never had a turkey neck. How no. oh. the turkey neck? Oh, he from Baltimore. He don't know. I ain't had a turkey wing. But I, mean, I was I'm making a movie. I'm I had to go out and make a turkey neck. Man, come turkey fuck necks, with me. I'm gonna change your life. How you gonna say you don't like alligator? You ain't had that shit. I seen it on the menu. I ain't like how that shit sounded. You ever had frogs? <laughs> Frog leg? Yeah, I tried it, but I ain't wouldn't yeah, fuck with it. That shit look too much like frog leg. And what that like, is? Frog really, leg? Yeah. I seen yeah. the video when nigga put a, cut the frog head off and pour the water on his leg and it opened up. Yeah. Yeah. That shit real? Yeah. For real. I yeah. fuck That's with That's science, bro. That's I love when I go home when we eat beer. That shit be good as a motherfucker. Where you from, Lou? Mississippi. Oh, Man, Mississippi. All the catfish and shit. I just, man. I like bro. catfish. What, bro. you ain't never had no pig feet? Don't eat that. Don't eat nah, that. Nah, If you ain't never I ate that, chitlins. don't eat that shit. I had chitlins. Well, chitlins worse than pig feet. Yeah, don't yeah. eat that shit. Nah, I don't want that nah. shit. I draw the line at bacon. The rest that, of that, that shit. That foot good. Yeah, I don't need the okay. big feet. The yeah. foot? Oh, man. That's good. This nigga said the foot. Well, that's, that's See, I eat some pork, but I don't eat all of it, though. I just. I eat bacon. Beer. I eat some I ham, some bacon, some yeah, pork I ain't chops. Yeah, I'm fucking with all that. I don't even fucking with all that. Pepperoni, little tenderloin, and shit like the that. The candle lady sell pig lips. Lips? Yeah, the pig mm -hmm. lips. Yes, they like, you can go to the candle lady and get a pig lip in a bag for 50 cents. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's some country yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah. You go, I like you, learning you about the culture, You, you, you go pour yeah. hot sauce on it. <laughs> Can you imagine if that motherfucker had a beard on it? <laughs> it do. Uh, hey, it do. You play it, it do. Uh, it do. I, no. Oh, God, it do. That's some nasty shit. They got hell in it. I promise shit. it do. I would never eat it's that pickle. shit. It's pickle. It's <laughs> pickle. Uh, so it's pickle. pickle no, that, that's some shit all the, all the yeah, chicks, all the fuck, women yeah. no, so okay. from the real lip, dirty right? south eat that it's shit. It's a bad fuck, looking no. pig lip. If it's brown, you want it to be pink. Ah. And I don't even know. I ain't no shit like, like that. That's the craziest thing that I heard you say. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I ain't no shit like, like that. Pig lip, a pig lip. A pig lip. They sell pig ears. And bro. look, check this out. I grew yeah. up on that. Like, that's what we yeah. eat ears. as kids growing as kid, up. Like the candy store. Like the candy store, you go to the candy lady and get a pig lip, some chips, and a Dixie let me get, cup. Get, let me get two pig lips and Jolly Ranchers. Yeah. St. Louis got what? Snoots? Snouts? They sell like the, yeah. The nose. Burn up, fried they up. They sell pig skins. Crispy. You ever had skins? 
I don't eat shit pig, man. <laughs> <laughs> they say when you crack this, we good in the motherfucker. Y'all eat all God. kind of pigs yeah. in there. Damn. Damn. I might get some of them bitch. What time we done? <laughs> hey, man. Crack a Lynn. Them cracklers will be, man, what? Man. Pig lip. That's With some molasses. Hot ones. Oh, you bitch go a crazy. sandwich. I don't give a fuck. Them cracklers be bussin'. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, I like crack ones too. Oh that shit, man, what, what that shit is? <clears throat> crack pig skin, fried hard pig skin. It's like in a bag, like chips. Southern mm -hmm. shit. They gotta have some skins off a of pig we killed earlier that day. Oh, Season the fuck stop up. talking about like bullshit. No, I believe. Yeah. All you do is pour the oil on it, right? You pour the hot oil on it, right? The bubble up. Nope. You just dump it in the deep fryer. No, you just throw them bitches in a big ass, like a. Big so ass I know you done had a deal. So you cook the shit oh, and yeah, the oil comes. You don't I put no oil in there. The there. oil comes out of the it's fucking skin. What the okay. fuck? Y'all niggas meat. You can eat this dirty meat. What? You can eat deer, right? Hell yeah. Yeah, deer the best meat you can eat. The best lean, like organic meat. Y'all shit you talking about. That's three people on the show. Y'all trying to turn this shit into the best meat you can eat. I know what y'all doing. Y'all want to put this content out so the world can judge us. Yes, we eat all of this shit. All of this shit. <laughs> I'm from Mississippi, man. I'm from Tennessee. We I'm gonna eat all, all of this shit. shit. I love it. I eat, I eat but I don't shit. eat everything. Like I don't eat a whole bunch of wild game and shit. No, but you know, I, but you eat like a duck. Yeah, yeah, I fuck yeah. with a duck. Turtle? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't turtle. I ain't eat no turtle. Right. You I ain't going turtle. too far now, y'all. I ain't hit the turtle. I ain't never had it. I would, I would try it, but I ain't had it. I fuck with a duck. You got try it. How you kill a turtle? Well, my granddaddy did all that shit. That's what you mean, how you kill the turtle? You kill that bitch. You pull his neck off and you cut that bitch off and then when you Damn, man. Neck, you you going to have the animal people on here. Stop, you can't bro. talk yeah, about yeah, this yeah, shit. Stop. stop. Okay. We, stop. we was, was it you? We were talking about food. <laughs> Damn how it got to be food. <laughs> yeah. And I'm talking about the process. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, you just eat them right out the water, raw. We just from the South where we eat a lot of animals. Yeah. Yeah. I'm learning. Sure. I'm learning. Yeah. You don't eat seafood? Shrimp life. Well, you, you from Baton You from, I mean, where uh, you from, Maryland, Baltimore. you said? Y'all yeah. crabs, y'all be putting them on the newspaper, y'all don't do that? Yeah. With the little, y'all eat different crabs. Them ain't the best eat crabs you can eat. Crab. Them crabs ain't, I don't like them crabs too tough, but Yeah, you gotta try the water seafood. Blue like crab. Y'all okay. started the, the bowl, with the bowl, all the shit. Gumbo. gumbo. The gumbo, y'all yeah. started that. You can get some New Orleans seafood in Atlanta. We got plenty of New Orleans people out here cooking That's authentic true. seafood. Yeah, that gumbo, that shit, all that shit in the pot with yeah. that yeah. Gumbo ain't on. just all that shit in that pot, though. <laughs> like, y'all just be thinking it's like a soup, that shit. And gumbo make special, that shit. We got the shit. knockoff shit, what you, you got saying? A, it ain't a soup at all. No. No, it ain't. Fuck no. Everybody it's a crab broil, what they call it up north. No, that Crazy ain't. Royal. Yeah, y'all yeah. got that yeah. shit. Yeah. They do that shit too. They do that shit with crawfish though. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and the and sausage. Shrimp. Yeah. And, and eggs and corn and shit. I wish everywhere was like the South. Everybody ain't got good food. There's a lot Period. of places don't have no good food. At What's all. What's the best city you ate in when you was on tour? Besides the South. <sighs> Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. I already said Chicago got some good fucking food. Chicago. Yeah. You know what? Mine gotta be DC. Cause I went to that the the, the boardwalk spot over there where they cook your shit right there. The I done had some good ass shit though. Yeah, Mississippi got some good mine. ass food. DC yeah. gotta be mine. Chicago. We about, said besides the South though. Besides the South. What about you? Well, DC is in the South. I like LA food. Atlanta. 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 You do? Oh, yeah. yeah. That shit you commercialized. <clears throat> that shit crazy. Yeah, I ain't never heard nobody say that. Is it because is it because it's different? I don't know. That shit was good though. I like that shit. I fuck with that Mexican food out there. I that think shit. I was at me. Uh, fuck. DTLA somewhere. I can't uh, think of the um the spot. It's downtown LA, but the restaurant by, it's like catered off there too. Yeah, somewhere over there. There's a fish spot over there by Skid yeah, Row that's good as fuck. It's good, okay. Like an outside joint with the fish. I don't know yeah. what it's called, but that fish was good as fuck. They had a few yeah, little late night spots that were good. That would be I ain't gonna lie, I ate at a couple spots out here in Atlanta on some upscale shit. That shit was good. Yeah, too. we got a few little flexes around this motherfucker. Yeah. Man. yeah. We got a few little flexes, man. Got a few little spots to duck off in some good food in there now. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Let me find you something to eat around this bitch. 
I'm seafood. If it ain't got no seafood, I, I want a steak, but you know, it, I like it got yeah, seafood I'm a, on I'm a seafood, man. Yeah. yeah. Have y'all had that mustard seed barbecue yet? What is it? What man, do? it's a few of them around here, but that shit oh, is a restaurant. It's a, it's a oh, it's a restaurant. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. What's the name of it? Mustard seed. Mustard Check seed. Check it out. Yeah, that shit good. Mm. I fucks with them for the free. Mm -mm. If you ever in Marietta, go to the manor house. Oh nice. yeah, we been said. I ain't been back in so long. It's some old lady food. Like Ooh, they yeah. really like they, church people cooking. Like Dutch you know what I'm saying? Shit. Like they bust and bust. Oh, they will pray for you before you leave. Church lady. Y'all got me. Everybody hold your motherfucker. You hiding a motherfucker, bro? You don't even smoke. Yeah. It, it, it seems like the, everything is coming my way. <laughs> there ain't even no smoke over here. Look, the smoke gone over here. Yeah, like, he <laughs> He's trying to suck it up. That's what it is. No, it ain't hit him. It just not hit him. He's he over there hit inhaling him. hard. Yeah. I'd rather be this kind of high than fuck with them edibles. I don't no, no, know. No, no, fuck that. I'm good on it. The right edible had you right, but I, don't, I smoke too much flour to even let the edible to kick in. When I, I seen a weed smoker say he don't do edibles, I should have. No, it just don't work. It don't back. work for me. No, I need to be hot now. I, I, I done took edibles with my yeah. wife. I, 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 don't even, I, I need don't to be high. Been on now. I'm shit stronger than that. Been right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm smoking the blood. Yeah, I can't, like, this shit, this can't Johnny Rancher. That shit. Yeah, this you, can, you can't sip, that drink, and help. then drink, take no fucking edible. Right. You'll never, that shit'll never, never make you feel shit. Shit, keep waiting. Yeah, and if you be like, oh, it's, yeah, you don't feel it? Man, I done ate 72 gummy bears. Yeah. After you eat too many, you just feel sick. Yeah. You don't feel I ain't sick. Never got high. I'm no. Just sick, no. Yeah. You eat too many gummy bears, you gonna feel sick anyway. anyway. You just really yeah, just yeah, ate too many, and then you ate them because you forgot they was they good. You like shit, I'm high. I'm... These bitches good. That shit kick in two days later. About two bags in them motherfuckers when you doing them shows in L.A. Mm -hmm. Your stomach hurt. Look, and I hate the deal of that, that deal of edibles. They give to me and be like, man, just take a piece of it, a half of it. I ate the whole thing. I still don't feel right. Like right. I right. calling them back. I want my fucking money back. <laughs> 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 you said take a half. I took two. Right. I don't yeah. feel yeah. shit. Yeah, they doing too much. You must have gave me the wrong one. Yeah. You mean yeah. to tell me that these you niggas are sitting up late at night making fruity pebbles, sweet. I gotta rice crispy treats now. with THC in them? Who nope. told these niggas how to make this shit? Right. Right. No how guy. everybody got the best edibles? This bitch is a regular Rice Krispie treat. Man, right. this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this motherfucker that took said, 40 this pebbles, bitch is regular. <laughs> put THC in them, then made them look like a Rice Krispie treat. <laughs> Who the fuck said this was dope? Anyway? And it tastes like a little bit yeah, of weed. Yeah, they they probably just blew smoke on that bitch the whole time they was cooked. Man, they just rubbed that shit. But you mad, right. you mad at me because I fired blunt up. Bitch, this is not the, this ain't right either. You making me obese eating this shit. <laughs> I ready five blood up. Yeah, why they don't make nothing that why everything that gotta be fruity Sweetie. and candy? Yeah. They don't want you right. to taste it. Give Man, me make some, me some goddamn chips. Give me some TAC. Give me a goddamn TAC Slim Jim. Yeah. <laughs> Disguise it. Give me a, Give me a noodle tank. Take a neck. Take a shit. I tell the shit and it be TAC. Yeah, I ain't nobody that. putting no TAC on them skins yet. Give me a TAC what? crackling. What? Barbecue yeah. flavor, yeah. nigga, oh, hot and spicy. Hooked. Nigga, yeah. what, yeah. nigga? What's that shit called? Crackling? Crackling. That's the skin shit y'all put in the bag. I, I oh, just like right. pork skin. Yeah. 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 But yeah. the cracklings are the small, hard. Yeah, they hard. And the, and the, and the yeah. skins are yeah. the fluffy ones. They got yeah. them as chips, pork skin chips. Right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. For our Hispanic friends, Chicharrones. <laughs> Chicharrones. <laughs> that bitches be hitting too, though. I fuck with the chick, man. I fuck with the chicharrones, man. This is good, too. <laughs> Yo, what's your best experience about being an entertainer? Uh, I like the recording part. Like, the creating part. Like the, you know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with the shows, too. You know what I'm saying? But That live performance. That, yeah. That shit, that shit. No, like, you said recording or live yeah. performance? I, I fuck with the live performance, but it's recording for me. Recording. Yeah, I love the creating part. Just, I'll be in that lab 12 hours if I can. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. yeah. Same engineer? I mean, it's hard to keep the same engineer, but if, you know, my favorites that I like, yeah, I'm, I'm locked in with them. What's the worst show you ever had? Oh. Uh, Shit, them shows that ain't nothing but five people in them bitches and you still gotta rock out. Yeah. 
You know what Everybody, what I'm man, y'all with me. Let me hear y'all make some noise in this motherfucker. <laughs> I done did that with comedy. I ain't I did it with music, but it's the same you know, shit. Right? You be like, fuck, I just got it out. Yeah, yeah, Let's know. go. It's yeah, practice right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm going to work on my shit right now. Yeah. You know? <laughs> but mentally, it's great. You know what I mean? 22 bitches in it, uh, 22 people. The opposite of sold out. It's like, yeah, yeah. Man, bitches sold out. But that one don't nobody see. Don't nobody see. You can take that shit to get your shit together and where a motherfucker be going through just to get shit. Yeah, you nice. If yeah. you rock five people. And that's yeah. the best show. Yeah, you, you nice. Fuck yeah. Them small crowds. They the, be, them, they the best shows, but they ain't. They, they ain't. I, I they are shit. not, my boy. They the best shows, but they're not. Because you just gave it your all. That's all yeah. it was. <laughs> you had to. You, you had, had to, to just to get you do this shit. Yeah. But that shit, you don't be looking back like. Man, where them five people at? I don't, <laughs> give me a good five. Give me a good five. No, you be like, man, the, yeah, sure the line out there, up, okay, yeah. cool, let's go. Small crowds be believing me. They, Come hey. on, you can do it. Hey, man. Hey. 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 And guess what? Them motherfuckers are, and the promoter is one of the 12. Boy, and he's hey. smiling. Him and his girl and her friend. I blame him. <laughs> I'm not from here. <laughs> right. I'm a well, great you, you comedian. Tell nobody. You're a you terrible promoter. This, this is a question I got. I'm sorry. All entertainers have been through this, so I gotta ask you this. So just to see if it's been something that rappers or uh, uh, art, rap artists go through. Have you ever got stiffed out some money, motherfuckers, and tried to get your shit and ran off with your shit? Or was supposed to have paid like you not get paid shame? for a show or some shit. Right. Hand on your shoulder. Listen, man. Man, every, I know I done been through that shit. Oh, yeah, they do Have that. Have you ever had that shit happen to you before? Not on no, like, runoff type shit, but say I got a good relationship with you and you saying, uh, you going to don't worry about the deposit I got you when, when you pull up, and then they use you for promo, and then when they come get close, they ain't got the money. Right. Shit like that. Uh, right, right. So saying? not like I got uh, half and I'm getting my right. back in when I get there and they ain't got it. Nah, because I'm going to cut you in your head. Man, <laughs> I'm telling you, that shit. Y'all had that experience before? Because I done had that shit. Yeah. Man. And this comedy shit you already know, Make man. you want to kill somebody for no reason. I'd have been a spot, but I just had to Yeah, that's what I say. I'm going to cut you in your head. Yeah. So, you know. Yeah, we've been being too nice in this comedy shit. Yeah, we should yeah, really a long be. Long time ago. Yeah, we so should really be getting me. paid when we pull up. Yeah, that's the rule. If I pull up, pay me. Right. That's the best one, but that's so crazy in the comedy shit. You be feeling like it's a setup when a nigga pay you up front. Like, right. yeah. You be like, nigga, what's, what's this nigga on? He, he, what's he the he kid? You. Yeah, you're what's like, all right, kid? nigga, now what you expect me to do now? I got to ride a ticket. Right. Or you got to watch that nigga in the room, like, yo. They give you that money. Like, yeah. But now nah, that's the motherfuckers that really know how the fuck it work. Because if you book me, you book me for this motherfucking time. Right. right. It ain't got shit to do with what you finna get from the motherfucking door. <laughs> none of that shit, dog. Like, I, I am here. Money up front. I'm it's trying to I don't want to go to the family restaurant. Yeah. And I don't want to go to your cousin who cut hair shit. And I don't want to do none of that shit. And you better change your shit. hotel room. Yeah. Because they on you. Just send me everything. Send me all of the... This, this is, I book my own hotel room. Hey, you, <laughs> Promoters yeah. be doing too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back to your room, then we'll get ready. <laughs> no, the fuck, no. <laughs> no, it's a, my room on the other side. Nah, no, you don't need a no room by me, nigga. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Nah, I'm gonna just. paid up front that and they feel like you like, perform for free. That's because they ain't getting put in trunks no more. We used to put their ears in trunks. <laughs> Damn, don't <laughs> say that. What? Yeah. Hold on, you said what now? Yeah, they ain't getting put in trunks no more. Man, yeah. niggas just be stanking, nigga, a long time ago. Man, you, niggas don't even be missing just, long enough to be stanking. You ain't got to stank them. You got to just scare them sometimes. Put their head in the trunk, man. <laughs> right. 